Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress, and I'm here with your Daily Dust from Pixie Dust Tarot. Actually, just for those of you who might want to know, my whole name when I started my channel four years ago was Cherry Enchantress Faith Trust Pixie Dust. And it was a very long name. <laughs> And I thought, okay, how do I work this where I can put like a first name and a second name? So Cherry Enchantress and then my last name would be Face Trust Pixie Dust. But that didn't, I think I did that for a little while and that looked kind of weird. Then I tried to change it to just Cherry as my first name and then Enchantress as the second name. And then that, that, I don't know, that didn't work out. So then I became Cherry, just Cherry Enchantress and then Cherry Enchantress Tarot. And then the Pixie Dust Tarot kind of came up as a great way to condense the whole meaning here. Because my mission statement really has to do with this dust, with this Pixie Dust. It's magic. It's the magic that you get when you follow the steps, the right steps, to fly, right? It just takes faith, trust. Oh yeah, but one more little thing. Pixie Dust. <laughs> The pixie dust really gets you up in the air. So <laughs> anyway, that's what we're here for. It, it's for the magic. So if anybody was wondering about that. So this time, this this week we've been doing the colored edge decks. Here's another beautiful deck by Dame Darcy, the Queen Alice Tarot. I love her so much, her artwork. And she's just like a really nice person too. Look at the inside. Isn't that cute? <laughs> And this is like a beautiful, glossy, mirrored type silver edges. All right, and let's give it a good shuffle. So this will be the last one for the series for now. I'll probably do the series again. And when I next time I do it, I'll probably uh, have some more in my <laughs> collection. Yes, I'm planning to buy a few more colored edge decks that was sort of my goal for the year and at the end of the year whenever I do the yearly predictions I have a deck for every single sign and I never repeat the same decks year to year so I'm like okay so I gotta get a lot of new decks that I haven't used <laughs> all right anyway my cat's trying to draw. She's taking the colors and saying, okay, I think I need to do some sketching now. Let's see. Let's take off the top. We have the King of Cups. Ooh, nice. <laughs> he looks scary, but he's very nice. It's kind of like, I won't bite, I promise. I mean, what if Johnny Depp came up to you? That would be like, yes. Okay. Then we have the Four of Wands. Wow. Good one. <laughs> And we have the Nine of Pentacles, you guys. You're going to have a really great day. I hope this lasts for more than one day. I don't know why. I woke up kind of weird mood because I was, had slept so long. I slept 12 hours, I think. Well, maybe not that long, but at least 10 hours. I needed it. I was not feeling so well. My eyes were really watery and stuff. I feel a lot better. But... Um, <sighs> So I, and then I was like trying to get in, you know, like a good energy here. And suddenly this deck is making me feel really cheerful. So the King of Cups is the Mad Hatter and he's, he's sitting there with his tea party. He is totally about having a good time. It's, I feel like this could be a date. Oh, look, we have 10 and 16 on the, on his hat. Uh, it could represent okay so if you're gonna have wherever you this is timeless so you, anytime you stumble upon this this could be for you and you might accidentally be stumbling on it on October 16th wouldn't that be cool but um, if you're watching on real time this is alluding to a future date too so that's kind of exciting and I feel like the king of cups is uh, emotionally a very lovey-dovey creative sensitive type and if he's got mixed other like Aquarius moon or something like that maybe he's a little eccentric and quirky and fun but I feel like you're gonna enjoy time with this person 
they, it looks like they want to take you on a date. They have, um, they, they're willing to just really go over the top to make you feel comfortable, make sure you have everything that you need. So that's, I think it's really happy energy. The Four of Wands always traditionally makes me think of 1111, the twin flame symbol. And so, of course, this could be a twin flame that you ha are, have in your life. This could, for some of you, could actually be a water sign like um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it can also represent anybody, you know, anybody that's has a nice sensitivity emotion or maybe psychic or telepathic connection because of cups being here and the four of wands is passionate it's a celebration it looks like a really wonderful party of some sort too if if it doesn't really resonate the twin flame message it could represent maybe even meeting somebody at a party but um some kind of joyous exciting event and it's interesting like i know that um this day the, what is it going to be? The 13th, Saturday 13th. So some of you might be going to parties or social events possibly on, on Saturday 13th. That happens, you know, on the weekends. And I would say, yes, definitely go out and have some fun because you might meet somebody that you really like or just it's going to be good energy. Oh, uh, for Houston's, Houstonians, I think it's the um, the Thorn and Moon Market is, is open, so that's something. And yeah, it's very Mad Hatter-ish. <laughs> anyway, but um, a lot of you are going to be involved in, in, in fun festivities. If you're, if it's not for this weekend, then it, I just feel like whenever you stumble upon this, this is going to really resonate. Or this is just a nice energy that's going to be last with you for some time here. Or, like I said, something up, coming up in October, like maybe this is the pre-Halloween sort of energy vibe. Do you smell it in the air a little bit? I feel a little tiny change. I feel the Halloween coming, the season coming. It just feels really kind of exciting. It's a time for parties and celebrations and carnivals and, and getting outdoors because it's getting cooler and things like that. So, I don't know, in Houston, we had a nice um, rain shower and cool things a little bit, but cool in Houston is definitely still not cool. It's still hot. But anyway, but let's go to the Nine of Pentacles because look at this. This is like, this is you feeling so abundant, so joyful, so happy, full of, of, you know what? This could be a lot of single people, you know, like finding a mate, finding the one, but it can also be single people just enjoying their, their being themselves, being single enjoying many experiences many um going out and just connecting with people places too i feel like this is beautiful with this staircase like some of you could be traveling to very beautiful um I, my sister's traveling my you know could be traveling to beautiful places that have gorgeous architecture stairways and buildings and landscaping and flowers and you know, wherever you are, you could, even if it's in your own backyard, yeah, <laughs> or you could be, you know, working on your landscaping, or this could be um, you taking like a little um, staycation, little s small road trip to someplace nearby that looks really beautiful, that just sort of lifts your spirits up and makes you feel excited and happy. Uh, anyway, like it just feels like a lot of joy here, lots of joy. For a lot of you, it is a, a fl twin flame romantic connection that just lifts you up, makes you feel wonderful, makes you feel like there's so much hope for the future. And then there's, for some of you, there's there's parties and socializing and others, there's a potential of meeting somebody at a party or a social event or something like that. And a lot of you still just enjoying being single and enjoying you know, doing all this and, and loving yourself, loving yourself for who you are, where you are right now. And just, yeah, this is really beautiful energy. So I hope you like that, you guys. I don't know what else to say. It's a good job. Congratulations. Way to stay positive. <laughs> anyway, uh, Faith Just a Pixie Dust. If you care, subscribe and share. <laughs>